house on the northern part belongs to the wealthiest citizen, you say. Interesting. Yeah, good for you. Make it tough for him. Absolutely. And here we have Duncan's house. Uh, yes, I've heard a little bit about him. He's taking his disciples to Mount Colts for meditation and training. Interesting. Sounds very Eastern. Sounds like, uh... What the hell? There's like a random save point. Weird. It looked like there was more to that place, but I, I couldn't really do anything with it. I don't want to save just yet. Maybe we can find another entrance to the to the basement in his house eventually. Now we can head over here, and we can talk to the little kid that has nothing important to say. What are you guys doing back here? I'm off work. Get lost. What the hell's going on? Not like strangers. Bring me some solder and maybe I'll talk to you. Okay, where the hell am I going to find cider? Can I go back to the cafe and find cider? It's down here. You got anything good? Doesn't look like anything good around here. We'll just head straight up through here and back outside. So now we need to go back to the cafe, I think. He doesn't have anything to say to us, and we're in his way. He's got important places to go, apparently. Uh, while we're up here, though, there is... What is it in here? It's a tonic, but don't don't pick it up. Let's head to the weapons shop, also known as the arsenal. And we can see what we can get here. Uh, like they had mentioned before, arrows down means they can equip it, but it's not going to be as good as what they have. You can see that Coco has the Mithril Knife equipped. Luke has the Mithril Blade. And the Regal Cutlass will be an upgrade for Coco. Uh, but doesn't look like Luke could equip it. And in case you missed the tools before, you can purchase them here. But I already got them. I will purchase everything off screen eventually. I don't think I have enough money for everything that I want right now, though. Uh, here we can buy armor, bucklers, heavy shields. If I could afford it, I probably would get them all heavy shields and plume hats. Of course, only women can wear hairbands, but plumed hats, everybody can wear that. Cotton robes for women, kung fu suit is for not the king, but is for the thief. Sorry, treasure hunter. Whatever he refers to himself as these days. Now we could go up there, but I'll try to save that for a little bit later because it's a long path leading around to pretty much nothing. Uh, we need to head back this way. And we can head into what was named the expensive house, where the rich man lived. Now here we can find her. Return home? Where are you from? Weird. Let's just head upstairs and around, and we can find a couple rooms up here. Now this first room... Oh, he has cider. Can I take it? Attack from the east that way. What do you think you're doing? Barging in here while I'm trying to write a letter. The millionaire can be startled. Is he telling somebody to attack? Where's the nasty draft in this room coming from? Can I take the cider? No. Anything on the fire? No. Can I do anything with this box? No. Or this? No. Drafty room. I smell a secret entrance somewhere around here. But there's nothing I can do about it just yet. So let's head up here. And I swear there is like a box or something in here that I can loot from no problem now. Magitek armor, no! He even dined with General Leo. I just made that up. I don't like the sound of this at all. Sounds like this guy's working for the Empire. He's telling them to attack the city of South Figaro. Can I, there's nothing down here? He built all the rooms on one side? That's smart. Sure. Waste on a lot of floor space, let me tell you. And can we go down here for something? No? I swear there was a grand family clock. Maybe it's not this room. Uh, this house, though. And here we can exit out. And I think there is... Crap, now I don't know where I am. Or what this, if there's anything here. Hold on. Alright, I 
got my bearings and we can actually grab the item in the chest here which is a phoenix down that does not change so feel free to grab it now it's much more useful now anyway not that i should ever have to use them <clears throat> Uh, if we can head into the secret entrance in the back, we can get an elixir out of the clock there. And we can actually do what I hinted at before. So, back into the house. Back upstairs into the room with the mysterious draft in it, which gave you all the hints that you needed. I thought we actually had to do something to open it, but uh, we don't. We can actually just go ahead and head into the Zeger Passage, just behind the bookcase. And apparently the woman is just stupid. So, what you want to do here, you want to head all the way to the end here, all the way down until you're off screen, and hit right. And then you have made it to basement number two, another secret passage. And in here, you can get a hyper risk wrist, that is a relic, that will increase your vitality and running shoes that will give you haste permanently. I will go ahead and equip these off screen at some later part. But first we need to head into these other rooms. This is a room with nothing. If we head over to the second room, well, this is a room with a save point. Once again, kind of strange that those would be in now. I wonder if that's not foreshadowing of some kind. And we can head in this giant room in the basement with treasure chest strewn all through it. This first one has 500 gil. An elixir? No, it's just an old clock and it's ticking. And a thousand gil out of that one. And if we head over here, there's two more. 1500 and nothing. I will be using that money and probably even a little bit more. Should I get the chance? Still nothing in that one either. Just another old clock. Well, that is it for this mansion. Even though we clearly see something fishy going on here, there's not much that we can do about it, unfortunately. So, we just want to get out of here. And just like that. There we go. Up the stairs, up the stairs. It is quite a journey out of here, unfortunately. And I don't have any relics that will make that faster. There is a relic that will make us walk faster. It is quite expensive, though. I will see what I can do about getting that on, just for the sake of moving things a little bit faster. Uh, but for now, we just need to get out of here. Where is the relic shop, anyway? I think it is... Well, we'll deal with that in a second. First, we need to head back up here to the battlements, I guess you could say. Mount Colts is to the east. Thank you, sir. I have a feeling that I want to go there and speak with this Duncan character. Hopefully, he will recruit me into the Wardens or something. Now, if we head down here, uh, I believe it is one of these barrels. Yes, this one here. This one, you could easily say that you want to get now, and I could definitely understand that. There's a warp stone in here, uh, and what it turns into arguably is not as good as a warp stone, but once again, I'm going to leave it. <sighs> Probably because I'm stupid and I like to torture myself, but warp stones are things that I can get around needing, I guess you could say. And what it turns into later, I either need or I don't. <laughs> There's not That's not something I could really get around, I don't think. Here we do find the item shop. I don't think there's anything new in here, but I will check. What do we got? Uh, pretty much the same things that we have seen all along. Uh, in case I have not gone over it, Cures Poison, Cures Petrify, Cures Blind, Cures Silence. Just like most... Final Fantasies. Nothing in that clock either. Damn it, give me elixirs! Why won't you give me elixirs? And I think that's actually all that we needed to do around here, and we already went in here. The guy has the cider. I don't think we can actually do anything with that. Uh, don't remember if we talked to this guy. I think we did. So we can just try to go up into the house here. Oh, we went into Duncan's house, didn't we? 
no, we didn't go into Duncan's house. So let's go into Duncan's house. How you doing? My husband Duncan is a world famous martial artist. He ta he's taking his disciples to Mount Colt for meditation and training. Sounds good. Can I join him? We head down here, we can see a save point. Which is weird. Once again, save points in town. Why, why would I need that? But, surely that means nothing later on or anything. So, with all that done, I pretty much just need to go to the relic shop and then purchase things and we, we should be able to leave. Relic shop is back over on the west side of town. I do believe we have talking. Oh, I didn't talk to you. Couldn't even find if you knew where to look. So apparently, Figaro Castle is all about just sinking into the sand for protection. The turtle defense. And now we can talk to this guy. Yes, I understand relics. These double my walking speed. Look at him go! He does have the item that will do that. And I swear we already went through the tutorial on relics. Uh, just in case we didn't, here it is again. I'm going to go through it quickly because, like I said, I assume that we have already done this. Uh, even with the Moogle and everything. So, what do we have in terms of relics? We have the sprint shoes. Those are the things that will help you walk faster. And hopefully I can afford to get those. Uh, we do have goggles, which I think... I'm trying to remember what goggles do. Um, I don't think they do anything. I was about to say, don't they display enemy... No, but nope, that's not goggles. So no, I don't think they do anything. Star Pendant will... It, does it actually say... Yeah, protects... Yeah, so I can check. Protects against dark. Ah. So they are useless. Uh, because, as I went over before, evade is broken. Darkness works on the evade stat, so uh, darkness is, is pretty much useless in this game. Don't try to protect it, so don't even bother. Sprint shoes allow a person to sprint. That's useless. Protects against poison. That is useful. I will be purchasing a few of those, I believe. Uh, protects against petrify and dark. Uh, so even if you wanted goggles, go for the jewel ring instead. And true knight. Uh, protects party members who are low on HP. I don't know what a member is. And I do believe that is actually it for what we have here in South Hero. So, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by our clown-defying squad of Glenn, Luke, and Coco. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.